Hello everybody, it's Ezra time again and welcome back to another reaction video and um, today I'm gonna be reacting to SMFNF uh, The Time Machine Part 3 uh, by once again Zhang237 <laughs> uh, This video is actually uploaded today I think uh, I mean today is the day I you know s start high school again <laughs> you know the second semester which is really it's gonna be busy for a while so I, I don't know but I'm gonna try to up I'm gonna try to keep uploading video like like per week you know what I mean but We'll see what happens, guys. I, I don't exactly know if I'm gonna be able to keep up with my schedule, quote unquote. Because again, high school, if you guys been to high school, you know how suck it is, right? <laughs> you know how, how you know how tight your schedule is. You know that you get like less freedom, you know. Um, but you know what? Enough about that. Um, so, the Time Machine Part 3, uh, last time in, in Time Machine Part 2, obviously, um, I think the episode ends with to the future. Toichika is actually trying to. Maybe trying to wipe up uh, Whitner Bonnie's uh, memory, like so Whitner Bonnie didn't remember seeing the future Toichika. But again, I I, I kind of hope that in the next episode, which is this one, I really hope that in this episode that the future Toichika is not, you know, like she's not gonna, you know, delete Bonnie's memory. Hopefully he, hopefully she doesn't because it it would be cool if he, if you know, future Toichika and Whitner Bonnie is actually um, working together, you know, as a team maybe. And again, will be a cool plot twist if like with our Bonnie or Bonnie, whatever you want to call it, it's the same Bonnie, you know, um, that he knows that, that he's going to die in the future and then he's just going to accept it, you know, accept his fate, you know, like he knows he's going to die, but in that, but he knows that he has to die or in order to this thing to happen, you know, maybe something changed in the future. I don't know. There is so many possibilities that where this story might you know, might go next, you know, but again, we are, we, we were entering the future Tojika perspective now, so I'm really curious to see how it goes, you know, <laughs> but yeah, let's find out if to the future Tojika is going to erase Win or Bonnie, you know, memories, you know, so without further ado, let's just get into the video, shall we? Time Machine Part 3 Oh What are you doing? I trusted you mm. You are not Toichika mm. Different version I mean technically so, the same but So, who are you? <sighs> oh, oh, do not press that please in the future oh my god she actually delete his memories jeez i'm so sorry hmm. oh god plus trap i have to hurry i can't kill him because he's immortal so how can i escape I have an idea. Uh. Come on, what a damn device. Oh, Whoa. Finally. Oh, three portals, jeez. Uh, which one you gonna take? I hope this works. Hmm. Yeah, that is three different portals. Damn it. Huh, damn. If I get to run, don't you kill me. Hey, that was from the ending of the video, right? You know, this place. Yeah. So this is the second pizzeria, like in the far future, I think. I mean, yeah, I mean, the building is very damaged. 
Wow. Oh, what's gonna happen, man? Yeah, exactly. This is like the place in the, you know, in the outro of the video, right? You know, the water sound and the pizzeria. And then she's gonna grab the sword. Wait for it. Yep, there it is. So, wow. <laughs> I cannot believe that ending, man. I did not see that coming. So apparently she's erasing Bonnie's memory either way. I mean, kind of makes sense because that's the rule, but I kind of wish she didn't, you know, but, ah, uh, you know, rules, rules are rules. You gotta have to do it. Um, But yeah, th that ending, man, jeez. I... She ended up in the same place, I believe, right? The same place like in the... Like in the outro of the video, like I mean the I mean the uh, the water the water audio was pretty similar, and then the place was very similar too. So this is really interesting. So I'm guessing that she's gonna find the sword here. I mean I mean the the in the outro of the video it seems like that's the place that to this future Tojika is end up with, like which is the second pizzeria I believe. Um, but this is in the far future I believe, like because again the building was. All damage, you know, and then there is water here and there, which is, you know, the pipe is leaking, obviously. Um, so maybe this is where he found, you know, I'm sorry, um, she found his sword. <laughs> if 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 this event actually tied into the, to the ending of this video, because again, the sword is right here in this place, quote unquote place. So I'm really curious if this actually uh, teased the whole time, because this whole time I thought that this place was just oh a cool, you know, outro, but. A setting i think <laughs> you know out of back background but apparently this is like a tease <laughs> based on the ending of this video which is uh wow <laughs> i did not see that coming guys my god um but yeah apparently well she obviously passed i don't think she's passed up but obviously she's like exhausted like ah man you know what? i screw up <sighs> let's might as well just rest for a minute you know and then apparently there is uh, some guy there um, a human, a, a human, obviously, that was a human foot, right? Hang on, let me check. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is obviously a human foot, so, obviously this person, whoever this person is, he's like, he's funding Toichika and then maybe fix her? Because, well, we know that the future Toichika is, like, she's not gonna stay this damaged the whole time. We know that she's eventually have, like, her body fixed, right? So, I'm guessing this is the... Obviously a hint that, well, this is how she got her body back, you know, like repairing her body. And apparently it, it got repaired by a human. Maybe a human from Fazbear Entertainment employers. And I don't even know in this timeline, does the war is actually already beginning? Because again, if you guess what the was the season 4 trailer, there's gotta be a world war animatronics, which I like to call. Um, and obviously the entire world is going to have a war with the nightmare animatronic which is apparently immortal and not just unlike the original animatronic which you know if you stab them if you kill them then they die but apparently nightmare Atron nightmare M animatronics is apparently immortal which is wow <laughs> well that's bad you know um but yeah i'm very curious if this this timeline like this place right here where toji guys actually end up with I'm really curious if the war is actually starting, and in this, especially in this outro, you can see in the background right here there is a a person. Maybe I think that's Freddy. You know, in the like in the background right there, um, in this in this outro video, like you can see a shadow right there. I think that's maybe maybe that's Fred. It looks like Freddy, but then again, I don't know. Uh, but apparently in this one, she got found by a person, and there is a shadow over there. If you guys actually see in the in this hallway, you know, um, so. Yeah, so I think that's I think we I think that's how the future Tojika got her body repair is repaired by human, um, which I don't I, maybe the world war is not starting yet, because if if uh, if like if like a uh, a giant war is actually happening around the world, there is no way a human would start repairing animatronics because again the animatronics is bad, you know, or maybe he just gonna found it and fix it at, you know, for the sake of it, who knows, you know. Um, or maybe this event is before the war started. I don't know. There's so many theories about this. And I'm really, really excited, guys. And I really hope you guys are excited, too. Because this story is just, man, amazing. And right now, we, it's getting really interesting, you know. Like, we have, I have, like, so many different directions that this story would go. And then so many theories that I have in my head, you know. And I'm pretty sure you guys already have your own theory that what's going to happen in the future. Which is, again, so excited, you know. <laughs> 
Um, and again, I really hope we get a happy ending. But then again, we'll see. You know, um, uh, if you guys want to watch the original video, I will put a link in the description below. As always, um, if you guys um, make sure you guys check Zhang's U37 channel again. Really, really great guy. Came up with this um, wonderful story, fantastic story. I really, really, I really, really into it. And I think some people are still into the story. His story, which is really amazing. Um, you know, keep making videos, Zhang Su37. Um, but yeah, once again, make sure you guys check his channel, subscribe to him, so show him some support. Um, and if you guys enjoy my recent video, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe to this channel, maybe share this video with your friends or family. And um, yeah, once again, I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and I really can't wait to see what happens next. You know, what actually happening next, guys? Um, I'm, I'm assuming that we're probably going to find out that, well, this, this human is going to fix Tochika's body, obviously. Obviously, it's going to happen at some point, but I really wonder how he's going to react, you know. Again, I don't know which timeline. Like, obviously, this took place far in the future, but I don't know how far the future was, you know what I mean? Is, and again, is the World War animatronic is already starting or it was before the event, like right before the event of the war is starting. You know, who knows? There is so many directions that this story could go and I'm really excited, guys. Um, But yeah, once again, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video and I will see you guys in the next one then. Bye!